She had to leave. Nope. She's back. I'm back. Welcome back. I would like to paint a picture for you of what the water looks like in Martin County right now, and I'm sure it looks exactly the same on the West Coast over in Pine Island Sound near beautiful Sanibel Captiva Island, which is one of the places that all my friends up north are dying to go. The problem with this right now is that what's dying over there is the entire living biodiversity of the waters in these estuaries and in our offshore reefs off the St. Lucie Inlet State Park, a state park. When you allow water to be dumped from Lake Okeechobee, it's filthy dirty, it's fresh, it stinks, it's brown. Jackie Thurlow Lippish and her husband have been flying in an aircraft and documenting what this looks like. And I don't think it's any big secret to anyone on this board what it looks like. But I would like to go on record as saying that what happens when you open the gates and let the water out of Lake Okeechobee is that water that is aqua colored like the Bahamas turns brown like a turd. And I find that unacceptable and not very funny. I also think that if you are going to continue to talk about economic issues in the state, you better put tourism on the table. Because if there's no way for people to get on the water in the state, there's no reason for them to come here. And they will not buy homes and they will not visit this area. Furthermore, water has to go south and you have got to find a way to do it. I'm tired of hearing about constraints, and I'm tired of hearing about excuses about why this can't happen. We all know it's been 84 years of putting up with this. And if you guys can't figure it out by now, no more studies are needed to tell you you have to figure it out. We have the UF study. It's very plain and very obvious what needs to be done. And I would, I would encourage you to move forward. Thank you. Thank you, Marjorie. Next up is Ellen Rappaport, followed by 